episode. Oh, it's going to come out that you did it. Sexy, Jesus. <laughs> the angry emote. Oh, every, it's like people get so invested in the royal family as well. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, fair point. I'm excited to see where his character art goes with this. Oh my god, this is such a good show. Is that tabloid? Hello. And she's going to click now, isn't she? Oh, and he's not getting away scot free with it either because one of my characters know I love that. Uh. <laughs> Comforted. <laughs> I think the only celebrity I've seen, I've seen is really crappy one. Is it the. Um... Oh, it's one from X Factor called. Someone should get me. It's like, it looks sick. Oh, well, he had the Paris Hilton one as well. That was famous, weren't it? It's Lisa, to Lisa. <laughs> Mate, top friends. Preach. It's going to be a lot of people like that around you. <laughs> God, I can't even talk now. Unless he follows his heart, which is what he should do. Lucem, mate. Yeah, fact it. His heart was just went bang. I was like, fuck. Oof. He's just two big bangs now. Could you really tr You can't trust him. Ah, uh, you fucking ass. Uh, she got the cushion, don't she, as well? Oh, this just gets more complicated. He's just like a cheap. I'm so excited to see where this goes. Oh, 
Finns det kök för djur? Det kök det räcker inte Simon. Du borde ha skilt sig från honom så fort allt börjar. Oh, that's uh, it's, it's never that simple. Man kan inte alltid ge alla en chans. Fucking hell. God, human interactions are so complicated. Oh, no feeling. Uh, just a hug. Can you hand me? Jag försöker bli din vän igen, så jag behöver dig. Where did they find these actors? They're all so good. The writing in the show is so superb. It's captured human emotions so well. I like I like stuff when you can you can't really pick a side in any situation. It's just so complicated. <laughs> it's easy. when you can pick a side. That's just easy. Out of the soundtrack. Just wait till the tabloids get into your phones, mate. Statement's gonna be big. I'm excited to see what he does. We know he's very good at making informed speeches because he did it for the uh, school, so it's good at it. It's got a natural talent for it. It's probably a sniper tech with a telescope looking like miles away. Now, oh, got it. Fucking hell. Man är så ung och känslig och sen som det viktigaste i hela världen. I tell you, the only you get is still feels important. Look at how I met your mother. It's like a fucking big choice. Like the whole like the way the series goes, it's like off this. Oh, we choose duty or love. A classic. Back where the show started. Where did it start in the couch? Oh, gee, you won this time. But we have another six episodes. Oh, bless him. And it doesn't help just after the, what the sister's little speech she gave, which wasn't wrong. But it's just like, oh, the dialogue layers. What's the point of denying the rumors if you're gonna make it super obvious? <laughs> like he's had tabloids around his house this whole time, hasn't he? Well, photographers, journalists. I just saw him to your car. I'm glad he took care of you. Men you must let it go. Mm. 
Guys, guys, it's so motion so well. Yo, I'm gonna my little tiny video. And she gets like first seat to the job. She was a little bit <laughs> best job. Oh, what she found? Police. Detective police. If she's found something, then obviously the people investigating it will. She's so smart. Oh, fair play. <laughs> fair play. That that was well done, Fleece. That was pretty impressive. I'm actually impressed by that. Emotional scene after emotional These actors have to go through a lot, Jesus. I see now uh, behind the scenes of other shows where that emotional scene take it out of you. The gym is a perfect scene for this as well, because it's like, oh. Oh. Oh, they don't fuck about. Fair enough that they would have chief figure out. And fuck off. Oh, that, that, that was good. The music and the cut off of the... Ooh. I love good edits. That was good. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Okay. Where the season two is exciting. What are they gonna do with it? Oh, we get like a break and then we come out. Oh. Oh, 
Spoiler. <risos> não vi mais. Eles são de cocartes. Isso aqui. Ah. Ah, isso foi bom. A great two episodes of Young World. Like I actually, the writing, dialogue, and everything was superb. I look forward to see where they're going to take Simon and uh, Maureen's character. And also August's character, now that he's played sort of like, they can't do the same thing again with him now. So like, they've already played it, you can't really play again. So it goes to go down the redemption the path, or whether it go down where he just goes deep, deep, deeper, deeper. And then the Felice, Felice, Augustus, and the Sam's sister storyline is completely gone yet. So I'm curious to see what they do. I kind of like their friendship, that was cute. Um, yeah, no, uh, and like the, the show didn't take, what I love about the show is it like has these moments, like these build up to these moments, but it also doesn't take long to give the payoff either. Like a lot of shows have left the Augustus reveal like four or five episodes and been like, oh my God, Augustus did it. Whereas this episode, they literally did it in the next episode and I really, really like that. It weren't pissing about. And I love that the mum knew as well, showing that, yeah, she should know, like the fact that there's no way they wouldn't find that out. So again, I love that little detail as well. And also Felice, the way she figured it out was pretty neat as well. I actually really like that. So uh, the, all those, I just saw the little build-ups to the writing, the little plot points all coming together. It's just, I love that. When, all little, when you have these little plot points going about, and then they all come, to, come, come towards at the end. It's just like, oh, it's so good. No, but I enjoyed the romance as well. Season one, superb. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I get to just jump sort of into season two. I don't have to like, wait a long time either. Um, but yeah, um, Joel Port has subscribed. Well, resubscribe to your Patreon as soon as I saw your reaction to episode one on YouTube. So glad you're enjoying the show. Um, a couple of fun or interesting facts about the show. Uh, Moulton, the actor who plays August, originally tried out for the part of Simon before being offered August instead. Oh, that's quite cool. Uh, the actress who plays Queen Kristen was also Anakin's mum in Star Wars. Nah, that's cool. You know that. Oh. Yeah, they do. She does look familiar. One of the few English speaking parts. Uh, Frida, who plays Sarah, um, also has the type of autism known as Asperger's, um, just like the character who plays it. Okay, that's actually quite neat. I didn't think like they don't normally always do that. That's actually quite neat. Uh, so it's not like she's acting the part as well because she's lived the part. That's pretty cool. Uh, Anas, put, uh, I love everything about this show. It's incredibly well done. The cinema, well done. Hey, the cinematography. That scene where the music cut off when he put down the phone. I love that. That was so fucking good. Um, the soundtrack, great representation of all kinds. But what really stands out is the acting. I think the main cast does such a um, authentic portrayal. Yeah, they do. Like it's all realistic. Like just the little simple things like Sarah's and Felicia's stuff. Um, when they were talking about Augustus, and I was like, that's such a like uh, the way they handled that word too dramatic. It's like yeah, very realistic, authentic. I like that. I think they've been close to age with their characters is get um, is key in getting that realistic feel. Emily, who plays William, was only seventeen when this was recorded, and now nearly twenty. Oh, that's so cool! I like that. Yeah, he definitely looks like the older actor, the one who plays August. He definitely looks older. But no, that was a great episode. Great episode. Really, really enjoyed that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the action, please like, subscribe.